ready, B? Let's go get <laughs> Look for me. Great. Such an important, powerful stargate here on the planet. How do you define the word alchemist? So an alchemist is a person who turns darkness into light, who turns lead into gold. Um, an alchemist is someone who's been through the darkness themselves but turned their pain into power, um, turned their darkness into light. And that has been my, my journey. How do I take my darkness and turn it into light? How do I help others alchemize and transmute their darkness and turn it into light? How can our darkness become our power? Because underneath our darkness light our soul gifts. And so we have to dive into our darkness to reclaim our soul gifts. Our gifts are like gems that have to dive into our power. Because underneath our darkness light our soul gifts. And so we have to dive into our darkness to reclaim our soul gifts. Our gifts are like gems at the bottom of the ocean. But you have to dive under the undercurrents, go through the darkness, get to the bottom, and then bring up your soul gifts. So the darkness is powerful. The darkness is a great teacher. And when we stop be fearing our darkness and see our darkness as here to empower us, that's when we change our relationship to our shadow and our darkness. So the alchemist is that, turns the pain into power, light into from darkness to light. And, and that is so true because a lot of y'all are still afraid of the dark. You don't want to do no shadow work. You don't want to go within. You don't want to look at yourself. And it's also true, too, of how what she said. Sometimes you got to go into the deep to discover your gems. She used a, uh, she used a good metaphor, the gems and the crystals and... The diamonds and stuff is is at the bottom of the ocean, right? You know what I'm saying? So you got to dive deep. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of these rappers, thinking about Ice Cube, for example. When Ice Cube wrote Help the Police, you know, according to the movie, they had just got harassed by the police. And then right after that, Ice Cube got inspired to write that song. So sometimes it takes tragedy, you know what I'm saying, to turn to triumph. Just like Kanye West said, you know, through the wire, you know what I'm saying? I turned tragedy into triumph. You know, me, myself, I started writing when I was at my lowest part, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, caged up, you know what I'm saying? That's when I found my gym. So, adversity is not always a bad thing. You know, of course it's hard. Of course it's, um, you know, challenging and everything. But, like I said, it's not always a bad thing. For all things work together for good. Romans 8.28, for all things work together for good to those that love God. So, you, you know, you got to expect. The simple fact that you want to go through some things. You know what I mean? That's the reason why we down here anyway. So, just look at all the rappers. For, especially from the 90s, from the from the 70s and the, and, well, from the 80s and the 90s. You know what I'm saying? You know, all these rappers, we, we came from the bottom. Like Tupac said, I came from the bottom and I'm still here. So, what was what was people rapping about? You know, that came from the bottom. They was they was rapping about what they saw, what they was going through every day. Not saying that's a good thing because some would say that we're glorifying it. And then others would say that we're putting it out back into the atmosphere, into the universe, and we're going to law of attraction it right back to us. So it's like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? It's like, here it is, you're going through some trials and tribulations. You want to speak about it, if you can speak about it. Some people write books about certain things. You know what I mean? I mean, let, let's just say if you wrote a book about, you know, something, some type of uh, tragedy that happened in your life. You wrote a book about it, and then that book sells millions of copies. And you blow up from that book. At the end of the day, 
that's a good thing that you made money and you blew up. But now you got to constantly relive that tragedy over and over and over because everybody talking to you about it. You doing? You got all these interviews about the book. You got to speak about it now. You know what I'm saying? People want to autograph the book. You know what I'm saying? So, so you got to constantly like relive, relive, relive. That's another reason why I don't mention. I really don't. I really don't talk about my past a, a lot. You know what I'm saying? The only thing I basically say is, yeah, I fucked up. <laughs> but at the same time, I didn't because everything is all in divine order. You know, according to the divine, everything is, everything is fine. According to the divine, everything is fine. Everything played out the way it's supposed to play it out. I may feel as though, oh man, I should have did this different and better or whatever, whatever. But at the end of the day, everything is already written in the cosmos. Like I said before, this is just a movie. You got to play your role. Yeah. We all are alchemists, light into it, from darkness to light. Yeah. We all are alchemists. We are all doing this inside, whether we realize it or not. <laughs> you ready, B? Yeah. 